Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video. Behind me is the new Rivian R1S, and part of this video series is really trying to quantify the R1S in a various forms. Of course, I'm gonna take it shredding in the canyons and see how far it goes on a charge, but I feel like the R1S is really gonna be purchased by families, and young families in particular. So we had some friends bring their kids over. They have a newborn, a two-year-old, and a four-year-old. They come with all of the equipment, strollers, car seats. They're currently driving this Honda Odyssey, which works pretty well for them. But I think like a lot of young families want to get an R1S, they actually have one on reservation as well. So let's go see how their kids fit, how their accessories fit, put in the car seats, see how all the seats move around. This is the family review of the Rivian R1S. <laughs> A little info for you guys about the R1S. This is the four motor large pack version. So 135 kilowatt hour gross, 125 usable or so, plus or minus. Um, just an awesome vehicle, really great. And so they now only come seven seat as the only option. Uh, this particular one is a launch edition, but they'll all pretty much have the same configuration. They're about ninety dollars to $95,000, depending on how you spec them. So that's sort of the price range we're talking here. Very premium, but also quite rugged and uh, perfect for here in Colorado to take the family on ski trips and things like that. I just want to take you on a quick tour before we talk about some of the specific family stuff. The front trunk, very similar to our Rivian R1T, but a very large front trunk and underfloor here as well. So it goes quite deep, which is nice. This one also has, yep, it's just about to say, this one also has the 12 volt in it, but we're not sure about new production because new production R1T, I think has gotten rid of that. So um, yeah, not sure with R1S, this one in particular does have it. If you guys are curious, this VIN is number 140. So this is a really early build launch edition. It's a review truck from Rivian. And um, yeah, so to, just to show you, if you peek your camera in there really quick you'll see the seven seats the kids are just having some fun with it now before we load everything up but just a pretty cool place to climb around in the back you know the way we have the truck set up right now is actually in the kneel mode so when you arrive to your destination you put it in park the truck will sort of sit down on itself and go to this kneel loading height so that's where everything is going to be based on today since I think that's the most representative of how a family would get in and out of it if you look in the trunk area here you can see not a ton of room behind the third row and we'll see if that's really an issue but of course underfloor storage here as well there's also a, a miniature spare tire under there as a nice thing one thing that it doesn't have is a power rear situation with this uh, component this little lift gate situation uh, but then the rest of this is powered so um, not the end of the world, super easy and lightweight to move, um, but it has come up multiple times with people that we've shown the truck to that they really wish the whole clamshell was completely powered like unequivalently priced SUVs with a clamshell. So um, the other thing to note is the R1S is built on a very similar chassis to the R1T. They use pretty much the same battery, same motor, same logic, but the R1T is significantly longer and we might see it with the with the family review or not but i guess my big ask would be i wish the r1s was the same length as the t and sort of make a longer wheelbase version now there's engineering decisions cost decisions driving dynamic decisions decisions as to why you would want this to be shorter um, but I think the people we've shown the truck to that have families were like oh man i kind of wish it was like the size of a tahoe or more suburban sized rather than trying to shrink it off of the R1T. So let's see if that's an issue with loading things in here, but we're gonna talk about the second row folding, the third row up and down, all of this stuff now. Let's get into it. John, how are you, sir? Doing good. Hey, thanks for bringing your family over. Yeah, no problem. You also have an R1S on order, right? I do. Nice, and what's the spec gonna be? Almost exactly that one. <laughs> Pretty different nice. Wheels. Different wheels. Cool. And so you guys are currently rolling in this 2022 Honda Odyssey. What's What's been good? What's been bad? Show us around. How do you guys use this thing? Yeah. So the I told myself I'd never own a minivan, but um, best part is it's practical. So as far as we have three kids, um, four years old, two years old, and then a one month old power so door that's nice our doors on both sides is super nice um, little one stays up here and then that seat which um is where my wife sits sometimes to help console him yep and then the two girls are in the back 
So you actually were able to remove that side seat? Is that how that uh, works? The middle seat, yeah. yeah. So realistically, we'll go to the other side. Yeah, yeah. Show us how that kind of works because, you know, it's no secret. Minivans are definitely not the coolest choice, but it seems to be a very practical choice for families. Low loading height, right. things like that. Oh, and it's got a track system here. So <laughs> that's cool. that's how it would be, except there'd be a middle seat right there. But we took it out just because... It's more convenient for the girls to get in and out with that. And then you got the car seats in the back Correct. in the third row. Very interesting. And what's the space look like behind the third row in this? So behind that row is pretty good because the stow and go seating. So right now we have a wonderful oh, four wow. seater. So we actually removed the spare tire from the back to see if it would fit in the front trunk, and it barely does. I had to lift up the loading floor down here for the under front trunk service, and it's got a split in the middle, so I folded that back. This fits into this groove. There's a very specific spot. It should only fit there or inside of this groove. The jack and the puck and everything go here, and let's see if it closes. It is sticking up a little bit, but... Very nice. So that does fit. So the front, the spare tire can fit in the front trunk, wow. which is probably how I would keep it personally. And then if you look back here, super deep space now. That's nice. And we removed this because it was a screw coming up here. So that'll help. So you can just pull that out. Well, that's really good info, actually. And now let's see if the big stroller can squeeze in there. Let's hope. So I think we're going to actually have to go top backwards. Okay. Because of the tightness. Oh, maybe just barely. So if I remove the wheels, which I can do, but I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I could get this to fit. And of course there's different strollers that you yes. can yep. purchase that. Yeah, this is about as big as it gets and it's almost heavy as it gets yep because this thing is 55 pounds oh dang <laughs> so, but yeah you okay can get something a lot smaller i mean just to showcase people don't know what this is this thing is massive <laughs> <laughs> that's like a house yeah. what the heck so we took out one of these because the other kid doesn't need but it actually sits for kids all right so first car seat in now we have the third row in the easy entry is this all the way forward no we can actually slide the seat back so here i'll actually ask you to do it so i would slide it all the way back till you hit the edge yep now um yep now raise this up and right. now they're that little section that little button down there lever i should say oh, okay yep we'll fold it completely forwards oh, okay that'll make yep. it easy yeah, that'll make it easier to get a move. So that's easier for loading things. Slide that one all the way over. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I know next to nothing about car seats. Do you know anything about car seats? Not at all. Other than they have some points to put them in there, and that's about all I know. I know I got Drew's baby Eva, the Recaro racing set, and that's that's the only thing I know. So these two are the same seat then. Basically, um, one's tilted a little bit differently because of age, but okay. yeah, otherwise the cool thing is um, there's not a lot massive overhang right here. Mm -hmm. So um, I think this will, as long as his seat fits, this shouldn't be a problem. Okay, good news. Great. Well, definitely you can fit two car seats in the third row then, I would say, without major issue. I mean, even she still has lots of leg room. Yeah, and there's a lot of fore and aft adjustability on that second row as well which is great yeah can i have this thank you okay so this one because it's easy enough we'll latch it in oh those are simple you're better at these than me. If, if we take this out then you can did you get both of them latched in no okay because then that'll give us the slack Nice. That's the pro tip right there. <laughs> okay, girls, we're going to go to your seats, okay? Let's, are you ready? ready? We're going to go over that side, Iva, and then we'll put you in the back. So now with that car seat in that position, there's no way to actually fold that seat forwards yes. for third row access. So you'll have to use this side. 
which actually would probably, do you think that's the easiest way to do it is to fold this completely flat? So. Yeah. That's yeah. really neat. Yeah. Things I wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah, so to do the full fold and then have them climb in. Right. Very neat. Okay, sit in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going back up. Yeah, that fits just snug back there with both of them. And I mean, honestly, she's good. Yeah, how would you have your seat uh, set here? You just the, yep, the, no, that one right there. Or something like that. I could even go, well, not that far forward. Yeah, that's Probably like that. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, she's fine. And let's see the room back hey, here. You, you're oh, fine. Yeah. You'd plenty. plenty. You could go back more. I'm curious to know up here. You just need to have enough to get my hand in. So yeah, you yeah. could go up. That would be enough. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Nice. And Colton, how's your seating position here? So I would come back a little bit. Okay. Probably. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, but. Okay. Not bad so not too bad. And you got some room here, and then of course she's got some room in the third row. That's that works. That Actually, this is far that works. Oh, come over on this side here because oh sure. Feet back. Coming back. Yep. And I'll be. This is a fascinating new car. <laughs> I'll be example. So I'm around six foot. And on a car, yeah, I'm slammed. Oh wow. Oh, I'm interesting. So slammed. you're absolutely in the dash here. Mm -hmm. You can come back. And then slightly. Not, but yeah. You know, and then we are sort of maxed out. Yeah. And is this a pretty standard size baby seat? Yeah. Pretty this is standard. Hot, really model. Yeah. You got come back a little bit more, come like for driving. Bit. Yeah. But if we were going to, if we were stopping and we'd need to get the seat right out, she'd have to be up enough to get it. the hand. All right. So that is maxed right now, there. This could go. Yeah. I mean, this and doable be better. better. Doable, but I would say, because we were just meeting with some people and his wife was six one. Mm -hmm. So I think we were in the same configuration and her knees were right up on it. So wow. okay. it can't be more than five, 10, six foot in order to be comfortable. To fit with the baby's knee. But now the other thing is this second row also can slide back. I right. believe it's all right? Back, right? No, no it's, it's Yeah, not. so oh, yeah, it is. actually it is all the way back, <laughs> okay. And would the recline angle help at all with that position or probably uh, not? The baby's got to stay at a certain level. So, so the baby to... has to so stay. Right now, for age, he's, he's, he's at level. So we wouldn't be able to. I, well, actually, no, just kidding. Because we can, I guess, depending on which car seat base you have, because I can adjust the base to go up or down to make it level. So, so we could we could do a little bit of adjusting. Okay. Push the seat back while, you're, while she's holding it. There you go. All right, so there's full recline. Does she have room back there now, Bob? Yeah, she, you have room. You're fine. It's a little, <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little snug. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, that's pretty good room, I would say. Yeah, much more. So just a finger yeah, width. Another, like, foot. Okay. She, she's a little uncomfortable. Yeah, so <laughs> definitely maybe we should just slide it a hair forward till she's good. Better? There you go. Now you're on the <laughs> okay, now she's good. Now you're on the backrest, and this is the front seat. You know, not a ton of room there, honestly. I would agree. I actually am curious if I fit out. Yep. I do not fit. No, not at all. <laughs> I'm jammed. Wow. Hmm. Didn't expect that. No, I really didn't either. So rear facing back here is probably it's tight for the passenger. Could you do a middle seat rear facing? I don't think there's that, isofix points there, John. We were looking at that earlier when the seat was there's down. Yeah, not there's not the isofix in the middle. So you can't go three wide car seat then? No. Well, they do have the anchor for the back one. So you could fit like a like a booster with an anchor back here. Okay. So you could do a taller seat. An infant one wouldn't work here. That would have to be on the side. Okay. But it's equipped to do three with a with an anchor. Okay, back. so definitely a booster in the middle, but not a rear facing child seat yeah. then. Okay. Do you think it would help if there was the ISOFIX points in the middle? No, because you're still gonna run to the car seat. Yeah. I mean there's only you're, you're it's only... tight. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Neat. Well, thumbnail time. Yeah. <laughs> if, if they made it with the middle seat having the bottom latches, you could do a rear-facing seat in the middle and do three across. Hmm. Yeah, definitely agree. Right in 
middle. So definitely might be worth adding ISOFIX to that center seat position. Definitely. Interesting, yeah. Colton, you ready for kids? Uh, no. Okay, me either. <laughs> One thing we're just noticing with kids as well is their head height is kind of right here, and she almost bumped her head right on that little that little notch right there. So that's a pretty aggressive little thing just to be mindful of, of being so low. See that, Colton, how low this is with kids running around and the sharp edges? Yeah, that is kind of... Uh, not the greatest though. I've, and sharp like you said sharp right here on that yeah bed. it's like the r1t's uh gear tunnel door oh, i have yeah. like a constant bruise from banging yeah. into it yeah, so absolutely. much and it's got the sharpest point and i've been working on them too i've like had them down and forget and you just walk past them it's like having a trailer hitch yes and you're just like Oh, come on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I think what we're going to try now is loading the kids back into the third row using this function, which is a one touch slides forward out of the way. Now, again, my recommendation is there's other vehicles on the market that do sort of a lift and move the entire base out of the way. So you can keep more of this angle here. Right? So the angle doesn't yep. move that way. Even if there is a car seat, you don't have to remove it to get into the third I row. I still think so. If that were the case in this, you would have issues, especially with that front seat, it needs to move forward. Yeah. I had almost made the comment to Alyssa earlier, because this is mechanical or um, on a button here. So I wonder if they could push that front seat forward, almost like A8 used to do. Right. Where you could push the front seat forward and- Right, it. and have like the whole thing move yeah. forwards. We've also noticed that this button doesn't work unless you're in park. Which would make sense because you right. don't want kids hitting that every time. Right, but that's really smart. Yeah. Yeah, so Absolutely. so you got to put the vehicle in park for that uh, yeah. third row to unlatch. Can you get in this way? Here, can you get in? Can you get in your seat all the way back there? You need help. And a climb. We can do it. Nice. Good work. John, how tight is that in the back seat compared to your minivan for the girls? Um, it's a little tighter, probably five-ish inches, maybe. Wow. So, wow, that five inches is quite a big That's difference. A big difference. Um, do you think that a long wheelbase version would be the one you would go for if they offered it? It would, it would definitely help. Um, the problem is fitting it in the garage this will be easier obviously sure so um, exterior dimensions easier to park easier yeah. to fit in the garage yep. with the shorter wheelbase plus shorter wheelbase in the mountains probably a little bit more fun yeah of course for handling and right. and for off-roading it's going to be beneficial so um yeah as far as this can work especially as they get older this will be easier um and the primary vehicle that if we're going to take trips will always be the van sure for the most part but um the main thing is for me to have something that can also work while also being kind of a all needs vehicle. So, you know, sports car, uh, vehicle that can haul a bunch of people and um, something to go off-roading yeah. without having three different vehicles. This'll do it for sure, for sure. We're gonna do a little third row vent check. So we have it on automatic climate control on sync. And so do you feel the air coming on back there? Do you guys no. feel any air? No, interesting. Let's so so maybe they're not heavy enough for the rear. So rear air is definitely on. Um, I'm just going to yeah. I mean we have it on all of it the just vents. It might be so faint because yeah, but you don't feel anything coming out of that vent. If it is, it's like the faintest thing ever. Hmm, interesting. With and we have the fans ripping up here. Go to max fan speed, Alyssa. Yeah. Yeah, just hit that plus. So they're not going at all. So not going at all. Nope. And they're sitting in their seats, right? Oh, I, I mean, yeah, we've, like got, we've got one. On. Yeah. There's enough. Yeah. So yeah. still full weight on it. It may not. We need a, a manual toggle for third row air vents, for sure. For many reasons. For many reasons, dogs and kids. Yeah. So we figured out what's going on with the rear air vents, but I still think there needs to be a manual override. The rear air vents are ripping now, and all we did was plug in that seatbelt, but they just shut off. And so now let's crank it back on and let's see if that side goes, Alyssa. Yeah. Yeah. Seatbelts. Good. So seatbelt or weight, but I think it should just have a manual rear toggle and say rip the cold air all the time. But great that that at least works. So they will be safe in the third row.
And there you go with the Rivian outside of the shop. We've learned a lot about its storage capabilities that the front spare tire, or that I should say the spare tire fits under the front trunk, that it is not as practical as a minivan, but of course the capabilities of the truck, the acceleration, the off-road, the handling uh, is much better, of course. Although I can't help but thinking how nice this would be for families if it was the extended wheelbase that would be built on the R1T. So what do you guys think about the end of it what what was your impression pretty nice i like it very there cool a little more space but yeah I think it's, uh, yeah i think it would work just fine for for us cool yeah. and you're gonna keep your reservation for it then yeah i'm gonna keep my reservation <laughs> great to hear <laughs> i think the once he's out of his uh Yep, absolutely. And of course, a lot of, you know, three kids is a tough challenge. So maybe not everyone will have three of them to haul around. <laughs> but there you go. Thanks for watching another Out of Spec Reviews video. And we'll see you on another one soon. Bye bye.